This is the juicy stuff right here. Almost 200 LD scrolls. We've got plenty of other scrolls as well. I have no idea how long he's been saving. Two nine-year legendaries, 147 nine-year special scrolls, Assassin's Creed, SWC 2022s, Cookie Run Kingdoms, SWC 2021s. So he's been saving for, oh my, he's been saving for a while. Yeah, there's six Transcendence, 25 Legendary All Tributes. Wow, I really, I'm curious how long he's actually been saving. Like, obviously not these scrolls, but let's get it started and we'll see what we get. I do have a, I wrote this list, um, this little wish list for him because he's missing two of the regular element nat fours and he's missing a few, um, he's missing a few LD3s. He's been playing for a while. He's been playing for uh, a few years now. And still missing some LD3s, which is crazy. But yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's see the, the faster version of this. So yeah, he's missing Dark Towers, Dark Beast Hunter, Dark Epicon. B Bee Hunter is is Beast Hunter, by the way, guys. I know you're thinking, mm, maybe he's missing the Booty Hunter, but I can assure you, it's he might be missing the Booty Hunter too. I don't know. But come to us if you're listening. They're not listening. But uh, good new good new <laughs> good new ideas for characters. Booty Hunter. Well, it's a wonderful character design. I can only imagine. I can only imagine get Summoner's War cancelled. But it will also get... Well, I don't think that even happens anymore. I don't think things actually get cancelled. They're like... You're like, oh, you're cancelled. And then, like, nothing happens. I think it's the current... Uh, it's currently how that works. It's just nothing happens. It's just people say something. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Perna. Uh... I don't know, a few dozen summons into it. Not bad. Is that new? Is that a dupe? I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's a dupe. However, Pern is still a good dupe to have. And also, not only is it a good dupe to have, it's easy to skill up to. So I appreciate that. So I would definitely keep a second Perna. I believe I did keep a second Perna on my Europe server account. So, and I have no real reason to want to keep dupes on that account, except... Well, it's always goofy stuff, but I, I I generally like to feed more things on that account and do less goofy stuff. So, but I did I, I did keep dupe. What I keep dupes of? Dupe Leo, dupe Perna. I don't know if there's another one that I have a dupe of on that account. I guess we could see, just in case anyone's curious. But I don't know how many people are actually curious what what monsters I've kept dupes of on my Europe server. Eh, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe some of you guys might be uh, interested. Let's see. I mean, what else are we? What else are we really doing? That's kind of the thing we're supposed to be talking about on here. Is not all the times we talk about other games. We may as well. Oh, you know what we should do? Hey, GG Blood King. What? What is? What? What, what was his name? Blood King. GG Blood King. I'll stick that in storage. Yeah. We'll continue this. Man, you know what I gotta do? I gotta finish doing all these other videos I'm working on for these other channels. There's so much. I know, I know some of you only watch. Hey, there we go. This I think is actually new. I think that's actually new because I was looking at his uh, his monsters that he was missing. That's pretty solid so far. Jameer and Perna. We we summoned like a hundred scrolls. It's pretty nice. My monster. What else? What else is a is a dupe on this account? Oh, I, I kept a dupe, Nana. Okay. Did I keep a dupe? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think it's just that. I think it's just those. Leo, Perna, Nana. I think it was just those. Maybe a dupe, Camila. Not sure. Don't see a dupe, Camila. Oh yes, dupe, Camila. Maybe I should feed that. I don't know. I don't know if I really need to do Camila on that account. Maybe I'll try to push on that. Push? It's a push for top 100 in uh, EU server uh, regular arena. I don't think I've ever... I think I half tried once. To rush? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I have plenty of top 100 finishes on global, but for Europe, I don't, I, I don't have any. Not a single one. So. I've been there, just not finished at Rush. 
mostly because I keep forgetting when rush is. So it's like three in the, or is it two in the afternoon? Whenever it, whenever it is, it's earlier than I think it is. That's, that's always my, my realization is, oh, it was an hour before what I thought it was. So whatever time I think it is, uh, the, the Europe server rush for us in America, um, or I mean us, like I know some of you guys are not in America, obviously, but yeah, I always think it's a different time than it actually is. Maybe it's 2 p.m. I don't know, but it's always earlier than I think it is. They're getting some good stuff. They're getting some good Nat fives. Wow, good, good, good. Yeah, let's just let's sum these two uh, storage now. I'm not sure if Alicia is a new or dupe, but we can always feed four blessings. He's looking for good stuff for siege, for guild war, for siege, and for RTA. So we got Alicia, we got Jameer, we got Perna. I do think Jameer is pretty underrated in RTA. I mean, there are some people that appreciate him. Don't get me wrong. Like, Obabo appreciates Jameer. He's like, oh, yeah, Jameer is actually underrated. I've done videos on, like, Jameer is underrated. Because not only is... People think about Jameer like, oh, you can use a Jameer Tableau Cleave. Like, okay, but you can do other things with him aside from just that. Like, no, 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 no. But that's the team that you use. Like, no, but you, he's a 24 speed lead, right? He does pretty good damage based on speed. Um, and then he also resets things. So you could use him with something like Hathor. And not that people you really want to use Hathor, but you could do some some pretty nasty uh, skill three AOE and then reset it, kind of like how Gany works. I'm not saying you have to use have to use that specifically, but anything um, that you would normally use like Ganymede with or something else that resets cooldowns, you could do the same thing with Jameer. People seem to just not not want to believe it. They're like, nah, that's not possible. That's not that can't be true. So, yeah. Uh, and then also cleanse. So you can use him. There's so many instances. You could just first pick him, and it's he's not a bad first pick at all. At all. So. Because he's so flexible. You can use him in a turn 2 comp. Usually people don't use him in a turn 2 comp, but you can use him in a turn 2, a turn two comp because he's got, he could be a kind of bruisery. And then also he can uh, cleanse everyone. You know? If, if you have will runes on him, and you have something like, uh, not like anything, anything. And your opponent is coming in with, for example, uh, like a more and a Tamo team. And like a lot of continuous, like, like for example, a, uh, a Dark Robo. Although Dark Robo does a lot of strips. So between all those strips, Jameer would get stripped. Let's say they had less. <laughs> Let's say they had less strips. They do a lot of debuffs to your entire team, and they come in with Shung Pung and, and Oliver and reset everyone's cooldowns. Jameer, as long as he's uh, not stripped and CC'd, he can kind of turn the table uh, right back around. So cleanse everything up, and uh, everyone gets their skills back. Very, very nice unit. Underrated. And the speed lead. You can never go wrong with the speed lead. How many do you think we're going to get from this? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need it. Let's see what kind of runes he's got. From Ooh, that is pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. Let's uh, upgrade this. And we will continue. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll go into storage. Oh, I'm excited for those LDs. I shouldn't be excited for the LDs. I should... I should claim already at the very beginning that we're going to get nothing at all from the LDs. No matter what I say, it's going to be the truth, though. <laughs> no matter what I say. Alicia, new or dupe. Uh, Alicia is a dupe. That sounded like I was responding to someone. Let's see. Is this the, is this the link? I think this is the link. Let's see responses. We don't need to still see this for this account. No, no, no. No, thank you. We'll do this and we'll put this on the side. We don't need we don't need that in front of us at all. Let's see how we feel. Oh, it's a no, no, no. The dupe poll. Dupe poll I'm looking for, which I can't seem to find. I can never seem to, whatever I'm looking for, I can't find it ever. All right, string master. Underrated unit. 
A lot of these units are pretty decent in certain areas, but people think about it like, oh, it's not... Oh, here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Wind Panda. But people are like, oh, it's not great in every area. Like it's not it's not a must pick in Arte. It's not a first round uh first round draft all the time, so therefore it's not good. It's like there's a lot of units that are not like Bulwark is not a good I'm sorry to uh, burst some of your bubbles, but Bulwark is not a very good first round draft. Because you can just play around that. And you're like, I, 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 okay, pick Bulwark. I just won't pick anything that buff anything. And uh I'll come in for a control cleave. Pick a bulwark. I'll just keep that in the keep that in. Keep that in the draft. Man, we're getting a lot of wind wind units from these. I'm just waiting for people to comment like, You're doing wind scrolls! He's so stupid! I can't believe he doesn't realize he's doing wind scrolls. Oh my god. He's the stupidest person. He's the stupidest person. We'll finish up these uh, mysticals. We're gonna feed the Alicia, don't worry. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer to feed Alicia. You know, if you pronounce her name wrong, it's kind of... Never mind. We don't need to go there. <laughs> we don't need to go there. Uh, nope, not saying it. Not saying it. Let's feed her. Why not? He's got... Mother... <clears throat> I was going to say a thing. But uh, I decided not to say. Why are you not? Why are you not? Why? Why? Why are you not doing it? Why are you not doing the blessings? What? Why? Who? 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 And why? And 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 how? Why would you not do these? Maybe he forgot about them. I don't know. Or he's using them for runes. In which case, we just—it's fine. Well, he did. He did say use better judgment, and that's my better judgment. Is we're gonna use that for blessings. Although he did, I think he just doesn't know, which is, which is, uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting that feeling. Let's go, uh, water. Actually, let's finish the wind ones first, and then we'll go to water. I know some people are going to be triggered. They're going to be like, I can't believe you keep, you, you just, you just don't finish, and then you move on to the next thing. Like, yeah, that's the story of my life. I just don't finish, and I move on to the next thing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm bored of this. I don't want to do this anymore. Goodbye. Except for Summoner's War. But I, f but I feel that if you play video games for a living and that pays the bills, maybe just can't, can't you consider yourself lucky and maybe don't keep uh, trying to find newer, better things. Or I, well, that's that's not true because I'm still trying to do more. But that's just because Summoner's War is not gonna last forever. It's it's ridiculous that it even lasted this long. Like it took me a while f to. Uh, to stop working at uh, at my business that I had, because I was still doing that and doing Summoners War videos for for years. Because I'm like, this is not a <laughs> YouTube is not a job. What is, I'm not that stupid. I don't think YouTube is a job. And then and then it became it was basically like, oh, it just continues. Okay, well maybe I should just. Ooh, both of these are new. Both of these are new. Hey, we go uh, look at the tier list. Wow. Both of these are new. Let's go to the responses. I I want to pick this. But let's let's see. Let's see the poll. That's probably bad phrasing. Let's see the poll. I don't know. I don't know why it's taking forever. I really don't. But I suppose free Google services can't complain. Okay, so water, where is it? Water Paladin, usually S tier. Some people think she's okay. S plus, we'll say. And then Water Monkey King is S minus, basically. So that's the one I would have chose anyway. Should have just used better judgment. That's what we should have done. That would have been so much easier. Cause I I know the things. I I, I know how uh, how strong and how medicine these things are. Water pollen is just a little bit more useful than water monkey king. 
Although I'm sure some people would disagree. It really depends on... One of the things is it, it kind of depends on what you struggle against in certain content. Like, for example, if you're out getting outsped and CC'd, Josephine is solid. If you find yourself struggling against uh, Masha's... Well, actually, Josephine is decent against Masha's too because she can strip and provoke with skill 2. So Masha gets her immunity up, and then she can just strip and provoke. Uh, Water Monkey can do multi-hits and strip with skill uh, skill 3. And then also give himself invincibility, but a lot of people are just protecting themselves, making their Masha's tankier uh, because people were doing that with the Water Monkey and with the Barbaras, although really I, I don't see so many Barbaras anymore. I saw a little last week or the week before, but yeah. Yeah, I don't see too many of them anymore. But uh, a couple of reasons. Number one would be more uh, the water striker, and then also Miles, water sky surfer. So people are just using those in uh, in place of Barbara. Some people I'm sure still like her. Some people I'm, I'm sure still uh, still use her. They're just using other things. Because Miles, you don't have to worry about critting. You don't have to worry about not critting. So. And he just gets so fast. You can put him on violent. And he'll, you can put him on violent and he'll still outspeed people's swift units. As long as there's enough uh, buffs. So it's pretty crazy, that unit. I wish I had better... I mean, I have some good violent sets, but I, I wish I had better violent sets so I could make him like 300 speed... 300 speed on violent. Just a ridiculous unit. This way he really turns out to be like 400 speed on violent. The opponent picks Leo anyway, it doesn't even matter. Nerfs everything he does. Yeah, Leo's, uh, Leo's the counter to him. Although, if he violent procs enough, Leo really doesn't do, uh, he can't do everything, right? But one of the nice things about Miles is he's good against, uh, Ragdolls. You don't have to build him with, uh, crit, crit damage. Just build him fast and tanky. And, uh, and no crit, rate, crit damage. And he's, he's good. And you're solid. Let's see if that Feng... Even if Feng Yen was a dupe, uh, I, I think he's still just such a good unit, and he's also easy. See, the thing is, they're getting easy units to scale up. So, that's that's kind of a win in itself. We don't need to put that there. And that's what she said. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Finish these up. Water Samurai. You're going to need some of these Water Samurais if you're going to fuse. He's probably not going to fuse skill ups. In my mind, I'm like, he's going to fuse skill ups. And he's like, I'm not going to fuse. I don't want to fuse skill ups. How much time do you think I have? I don't want to do this. <sighs> We're almost to the LDs. Almost. Or should we do the nine years first? You guys are like, no, don't do the nine years first. Well, well you, could, you could skip it anyway. Oh, I shouldn't remind you that you can skip through the video. It's bad for analytics. It's bad for retention. Fire Inferno. Man, I really hope those Infernos get sizable two-way. Because they're getting two-wayed. Well, as, as it stands now, they should be getting two-wayed at some point. I don't know when. Five years to, from now, who knows? I mean, Comptos probably doesn't even know. But that's on the agenda. It took, us, it took them over a year. I was going to say us, as, as, as in we have something to do with it. Um, it. Took them over a year to do the last two way, which is. We're not. Sorry, that was phrased wrong. Um, it's been a, it's been over a year since the last two-way. It didn't take them a year to work on the last two-way. It has been over a year since the last one. That is, that is way too long. I mean, I, I understand myself being 
scatterbrained and working on one thing and then not having enough time for it and working on another thing and then not having enough time for it and working on another thing. But like this is a this is a multi-billion Ooh Gotta go with Zyros, man. Gotta go with Zyros. Do you blame me? It's new. New over the other one was new too, but Fire Dragon. We have to pick up so he's got two new dragons. Very nice. I think he's gonna be happy with that for sure. I shouldn't say for sure. I am not for sure that he's going to... But he should be happy with that because dragons uh, are d very big and scaly and breathe fire and have wings. Why wouldn't you want a monster that has wings? What's the matter with you? That's weird. It's weird to not want that. So therefore, you must you must want that. What else would he say? Something, 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 something. Oh, so juicy. So many juicy stuff. Oh, you know what? We could talk about some of the new games coming out, even though we're kind of a little bit uh, late on that. Black Clover M is supposed to be coming soon. If you guys are not familiar with what Black Clover M is, some of you are like, yes, and what is that, and why should I care? Uh, it is... I was going to say it's, it's like anime Honkai Star Rail, but... I think Honkai Star Rail is anime Honkai Star Rail. Um... It's it's an anime turn based. It's it's gonna be. You should definitely download it and check it out. That's that's what I can say. It is going to be very similar to in play style to Honkai Star Rail because it's a turn based anime uh, RPG. Gotcha RPG. However, it is not space and it's not MiHoYo. It's uh, Garena International, which I believe is the same company as Garena Free Fire. Is it? It is not. Oh, hold on. Oh, new overdupe. There we go. Yeah, it is the same as Garena Free Fire. But they have two different companies. Is it Garena International 1, Garena International 2? Let's find out. Yep. That is exactly what it is. So if you guys are not familiar with uh, Garena Free Fire, it is one of the biggest mobile games on the planet. In America, not so much, but uh, over in Asia, um, India, South Asia, it's it's huge. It's massive. Uh, I think it might be massive also in South America, but it's not really as much of a thing in the United States. I don't know why. It's like um, Saint Seiya was big in South America, and you know Saint Seiya is also big overseas in Asia, but it's just not a huge thing in the United States. Which is sad, because Saint Seiya is so good. I don't know why I like it so much, but I like it so much. That game was solid. And that's one of the things that that game did is... Uh, well, I don't want to expose their world arena. Any things. But um, one of the things that um, Saint Seiya did is they put those monsters that you could uh, you could rent out. Kind of like what uh, what Summer's War is doing, what Comptoist did. But I haven't complained. I was, I was like, they should do that. They should do that for for quite a long time. I'm really glad they did that. That gives new players an opportunity to actually play RTA, even at low ranks, and not have to stress. Some people are like, oh, you should put allow us to put our own rooms on. It's like those are those are like end game players. Like end game players. I. I hate to say this, maybe I don't hate to say this, but it's important to allow casual and new players to experience World Arena to see if they even like it. To just be able to play it at all. New and new and new. This might get a really good buff in the balance patch, but I don't know. We're going to go over this. Uh, we're going to go for this because this is already more useful. Yeah. Very nice. Also, he said he does uh, siege. So, getting some getting some good stuff now. But yeah, the, it it's it should be for new players. It should not be a thing of like, oh, let's give let's give uh, end game players weaker versions of the things they already have. It's like that's that's not really that's not the point. Oh my god, we got a lot of nat fives here. 
Jeez, that was two thirds of an arena defense right there. Samoth Triton, jeez. That's crazy. Nothing against the uh, endgame players, of course. Or maybe that's not obvious, but yeah, nothing against endgame players. But it's important to allow new players to enjoy the game. Because like, if we're trying to push out new players, but then, then we may as well close the servers down and say, okay, everything we ever spent, uh, all the time and money and energy we spent on, on Summoner's War, call, call it a day, we're done. So yeah, it's important. Endgame players have most of these units anyway. Like Shimite and like Juno, most endgame players will have those units. It's They, they don't need uh, more of the same units with just different runes. So I... I I'm siding with Calm to Us. I know some people are going to attack me for that, but I'm siding with Calm to Us that I think this, the, what they did, letting new players have access to a handful of these units for RTA that are pretty decent, I think that was a good call. <gasps> Gasp. Oh my goodness. You can never win, though. No matter, what, no matter what opinion you have on the internet, you cannot win. If you have an opinion one way, you're a terrible person. You're you're such a d-bag. If you have an opinion the other way, oh, you're a terrible person. You're such a d-bag. If you don't have an opinion, oh, you're so boring. You're so stupid. You have you. Uh, I don't even know. You, you you just can't win on the internet. You just can't ever under any any circumstance. Why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? <laughs> what are we supposed? To I just got ah oh, force of habit. Okay. It's just my my brain goes on autopilot. Oh, thank you, Soda. Thank you. He likes to throw the straw because it's angry at me. You and everyone else, straw. Or Soda, or whatever. And we'll go with this. Even though they're going to get an LD Sky Dancer later. If they get an LD Sky Dancer later, I, I honestly, I don't even know what I would do. I don't even know. LD Sky Dancer. Hold on. We'll go with this. It's hard to get scalps for those, so that's why I'm going for that. It's not about the unit specifically. They already have all of them anyway. But yeah, Black uh, Black Clover M by Garena International 2, which just means... Oh, this is one of the new ones. Very nice. I don't think we got the fire one, though. So I think they're still missing that, but we do have legendaries. I don't know if they want these summoned. LDs. Can't wait for the LDs. All right, let's go. Should we go? Let's go. Let's go for the LDs. YOLO. Please, please, something good, though. Please, please, something good. <laughs> let's do these. Let's do... Where's the Megans? Where's the Megamins? Man, that game... There was, uh, what was that game? Konosuba. Fantastic Days. I don't watch any of these animes. So, these games have to kind of like fly on their own. It's like, does, is the game good? Because I don't really have any... I'm not partial to any anime or whatever because I don't actually watch them. So, yeah, Konosuba. It was uh, fun. It was interesting. Kind of uh, low-key and casual. But there really wasn't much to do in that game it's like okay you do some idle farming of things and then you're done charger shark penguin knight dark frankenstein so we should get well, like 10 or 11 we should get 10 or 11 ld's lightnings okay ld lightning number one okay dark skogel Tressar. Not bad. I still prefer Skogel. Is that a terrible for me? Terrible thing for me to say? I like the Skogel better than the Dark Skogel. Just personal preference, I guess. Do I have Dark Skogel on Europe or no? I know I had it on China server. And then I just deleted the entire account. But... It's also, it's fun to have both of them as well. I, 
wasn't paying attention to if we actually got any. But yeah, Black Black Clover M is gonna be is gonna be solid. That was one of the games that I was looking forward to this year. Uh, I don't think they have a release date though. Hey, not bad, not bad. So this is good for this is good against like Oliver's and things like that that take a lot of turns in um, RTA. As long as the opponent doesn't, you have to pick it uh, late in the draft because if the opponent starts picking immunity, then then that's gonna be an issue for him. Oh, you got a light tea bunny. Very nice, very nice. This is the one that. Uh, oh yeah. I actually really like this unit. Um, I have the Cookie Run Kingdom version of this, but this is a defense break, AOE defense break, and it increased cooldowns. Not bad. And then this Dancing Teacup is pure damage. So, decreased target's HP by up to 40% uh, and reduced attack bar. Well, in proportion to the attack bar that's reduced. So, the higher the attack bar, the more damage it's going to, uh, to do. But yeah, it's not. Uh, and then the first skill is a uh, um, beneficial effect block. Pretty, pretty nice unit. Usable more than people think about. Anyway, defense break, pure damage. If he had a strip, he would actually be over. Uh, well, it, 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 black team. I don't know. It's uh, if the unit had a strip, it would be. Actually, very overpowered. <laughs> it would have to be nerfed if that had a, an AoE strip. AoE strip and a defense break into CC. Uh, uh, the increased cooldowns. Uh, that would be absolutely broken. That would be 100% broken. That would be just a better version of the light, uh, light Battle Angel. So we got, what, four LD Lightning so far? Or are they still missing things? Missing three stars. The T bunny though, that's the that's the win so far of the LDs. I don't wanna put everything in there, you know? I don't wanna put, stick my Megans in there. We gotta jiggle those. So we do have all oh, we got plenty of uh dark epicon priests including an already awakened one and then what else were we looking for dark towers dark beast hunter dark m champion i see a light oh we see dark m champion too okay dark uh beast hunter and do we have a dark tower somewhere that might be the only one we're missing now unless i have passed by it already in which case oopsies Oh, he's right here. He's right here. I didn't even, I didn't put him anywhere. He's right there. Well, I guess we got all the LDs then. The LD3s. Duh. I don't think we need this anymore then. Let's see. Oh, you could have been a dark one. Please tell me they get an LD5 from here, please. Cause this is a lot of saving. Come to us. This is a lot of saving. Come to us like, yeah, we don't we don't care. We don't care. You can give us more money though. Never playing another come to us game. Guys like, why you don't play the Summoner's War Chronicles? Well, be because it's the Summoner's War Chronicles. <laughs> because it's come to us. That's why I'm not playing it. So I have no interest. I mean, first off, it's a mobile game, so you know it's a cash grab, right? Second off, it's Summoner's War Chronicles, made by Come to Us. So you know it is a I, I just don't want to deal with them anymore. Like, I've, I've had to deal with them for nine years. You got to learn your lesson at some point. Nine years? Well, I think I learned my lesson like six or seven years in. I was like, I, I can't I can't deal with these people anymore. And I still kept making videos on the game, but yeah. LD5, let's go. When you call it, it feels so good. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Very. He's not the most exciting LD5, but he is an LD5. Dark Beast Monk, very nice. Very nice, very nice. So now we... <laughs> is it very nice? It is! It is very nice! I'm, I'm glad you, uh... I'm glad you noticed. Sometimes I, I... Sometimes I go into matches and I'm like, ooh, 
The Dark Beast Monk would be great here. Strip into a beneficial effect block so that they can't put all the, uh, like for example, against Shizuka. So you'd be like, hey, Shizuka, what are you gonna, you're gonna put your nothing on your team because you all have beneficial effect block. I would use that Dark Meast, Meast Monk. The Dark Meat Monk. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> that one was a Hall of Heroes. Uh, Dark Hypno Meow. The Dark Meat Monk. That's what it is. Dark Meat Monk, my favorite monster. What else do we have for coming out? Super Cat Idol, which is an idol game, but at least it's cats. And it's by Mobirix, because of course it is, because half the games out on mobile are for are by Mobirix. I will say, it, it seems like they're not as aggressive as other companies. They just put out a ton of games, so I guess they don't have to be very aggressive when they're like, yeah, the games aren't making as much as other companies, but we put out so many that it doesn't matter. We make the same amount anyway. Other companies are like, yeah, we have three games, and Mobrix is like, yeah, we have 300 games. Like Joker, very nice, very nice. Shall we jiggle some more Megans? I believe we should. I don't know why I'm doing any of this stuff. But. Force of, force of habit, I suppose. We gotta jiggle those Megans, though. I like to keep some of these out so that I know how much we've gotten. Like, what kind of fun stuff we've gotten. Yeah, we obviously, obviously we've gotten those. Obviously. Those Taoists. I can't ignore them anymore. As I'm not, as I'm not able to find, uh, find and click these buttons. We'll figure it out eventually, guys. We'll figure it out together. I think we're a little bit low on the LDs, though, on the LD Lightning. But, you know, we, we got an LD5. For some people, it takes them a decade to get that, so. Anyone. Any, even a single one, even a doo-doo one, anything. Okay, light, uh, boomerang. Not a bad unit. What were people comboing with her? There's a combo, and they would combo things with her. Right. What was it? I bet you could do a Draco, Light Boomerang, and Light Mystic Witch Siege Team. I mean, you could do a lot of things similar to that, I suppose. Light Gargoyle, I don't know why I skipped it, but yeah, Light Gargoyle, not bad. There's a Hall of Heroes, though. Thank God I fixed those Gargoyles, man. It's so easy. They just they just start in Stone State that fixes all the Gargoyles. They're all, like, that's it. It's the simplest fix. Come to us. They know it's the simplest fix. They, like, I, I guarantee they know that that is the fix. And they're like, we're going to do it in a year from now. We're gonna, do, we're gonna keep putting filler updates out, and then they're gonna be like, they're gonna give the uh, the gargoyles uh, start in stone state, and we're gonna be like, oh my god, the gargoyles are so good now. How nobody knew, nobody could have possibly predicted. This is how it always happens. It's like, oh, there's uh, nobody could have predicted. Wow, come to us, so genius. I'm like, we called this so long ago. It was so it was so easy. <laughs> we said this so many times. There's so many things that we say. Uh, hey, there we go. Light hard. There's so many things we've said on the channel so many times. Like the, the whole thing about Jameer being good, the whole thing about uh, Meiha Wang being good. Like we're using Meiha Wang before the buff, before the before it was changed, and he was already good. Hey, there we go. Light, uh, light selfing. He's already good. People just di didn't give him credit. They didn't give him a shot, and then he gets changed. Some people uh, start playing. Some Twitch streamers start playing with him. And then, oh wow, he's so good now. Like, no, he was good before. He was good before. Y'all just don't pay attention. 
we said these things, you don't pay attention. We say these things till I'm blue in the face, people still don't listen. Let's do Assassin's Creed scroll first. I don't know why. At least we got one LD5. We can still get some more LD5. Oh, we got an LD4. Dark Ezio. Not bad. Super cat. We could probably close the super cat idle uh, <laughs> window. Probably don't need that. What else do we have? There's a lot of pixel art games coming out on Steam. Big surprise. Oh, Light Bay. Oh, he's getting the LDs from these. What else? Evil Wizard is another pixel art game. Yeah, just a lot of pixel art games coming out on Steam. Pal World is the one to look out for. That is the one. And Black Pal World on Steam. Because that's going to be like, oh my goodness, this is new. This is new. This is new. Because I was looking at it, I was like, oh yeah. It would be really nice to get a Shimpong. I don't know why I skipped that. Wow, we're getting some good stuff here. Yeah, but Pal World is going to be like a... Like a rated R Pokemon. Because it's like Pokemon, but it's... It's like Pokemon and Genshin, but it's... They have machine guns. It's, it's Pokemon with machine guns. That game is going to be all over YouTube. I would feel that it's going to be all over YouTube. But, you know, they did actually do a, uh, another game that I thought also was going to be all over YouTube called Craftopia. And it was not all over YouTube. But I thought that that would be a... I thought that that would be big on YouTube. Bigger than it actually is. I don't know if they're still working on it. I don't know what the deal is with that Craftopia. But it seems like they stopped working on it. It's like, it's early access. We're gonna keep working on it. And then it... Like, never got out into, like, just out, out. But it's still, it's early access. Everyone can play it. <laughs> the uh, Craftopia. But, yeah. It seems like they just stopped working on it. Or unless they started working on it again recently. Because I have not been paying attention every week to that. Um, I tried emailing the developer. I never heard back from them. So, because I was curious. I'm like, this is going to be some good stuff. Maybe I should talk to them. So that uh, I have connection to try to get some uh, the inside scoop. Above Snakes. Above Snakes is a Steam game. It looks like it is Age of Empires, but for the Wild West. Wild West Age of Empires. I don't know why I'm skipping some of these. I shouldn't skip. Let's see. Oh, Ryan. Did you guys know Ryan has attack buff and defense break? I bet you didn't know that. I bet you didn't know that. Man, there's a, there's a lot of legendaries. Wow. They've been saving for a while. Let's go over here. Let's stick these in here. <sighs> so juicy. Well, some of these at this point are not LD anymore. What do we? How, how many do we get for LDs? Let's find out. I suppose we can just put all these Megans back. see or did we get more that I didn't uh, that I wasn't paying attention to so we got these don't count these were these two were not from LDs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we were we were uh, we were not bad that was not bad at all I guess we could stick all the rest of them in there. I don't know why I do some of these things, guys. I'm like, we got, we can stick these things in, but we can't stick those things in. Like, what's the difference? Like, I don't, I don't really know. I don't. <laughs> these ones are shinier, so we should keep them out until we put them in. But when do you decide when you're gonna keep them out and put them in? I don't know. I'm not sure. Whenever I feel like it. Yeah, we don't need to take a look at this. 
Railway Empire, the thing with the wizards. Uh, what else? What else is coming out on Steam? That's another good, uh, good unit, Miang. Hello Neighbor. There's a new Hello Neighbor game coming out. Lord of the Rings Gollum. Wait a second. And this is a full price game. Project Delta. It's like Jet Set Radio. I did not see the... The Golem game. Wow. That's crazy. Play as Golem on his quest to retrieve his precious. You will need to climb the mountains of Mordor, sneak around Mirkwood, and make difficult choices. Who will gain the upper hand? The cunning Golem or the innocent Smeagol? Interesting. It doesn't look like a hack and slash action. It looks like a puzzle kind of game. Looks good. Very interesting. Is it Jet Set Radio or Jet Grind Radio? What was it called? I don't know. But it's Project Delta. Reach your potential is fast and fluid 3D action platformer set in a beautiful, hopeful solar punk world. Oh, solar punk. It looks like a Sega Saturn game. I like how you've managed to make all of the graphics for these new engines look much worse. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, it doesn't. I'm thinking that it does, but it probably it probably looks like a PS2 game. Uh, maybe it's intentional. I don't know. But again, yeah, we we intentionally hired someone that cost less money uh, as an artist than the other people. That was the intent. It kind of looks cute. It it just looks a little bit. Like, semi-retro. Like, a 10-year-old game. Not like a 30-year-old game. Oh, Brandy, I think that's a dupe. We should feed. We should feed that. Why am I going here? I don't need, I don't need to go there. Where's Brandia? Here's Brandia. Alright, so we'll feed dupe Brandia. Man, I'm tired. So I'm going to stop. You guys uh, do the rest of this yourselves. Okay? Good talk. As you're like, really? You're tired? Is it too stressful? Is it too stressful to click the summon button? Yes, guys. It's too stressful. No, it's not. It's... I, I may or may not have eaten 17 plates of sushi for lunch. So... Uh, I'm going to be on my 600 pound life or whatever that's called. My 400 pound, 500 pound life. I don't know. But I think 17 plates of sushi is, is a lot. They're little plates. They're little. They're so, uh, okay. So it's like a revolving sushi restaurant. I did some uh, YouTube shorts actually on the food channel. I think it's on the food channel of the, uh, the restaurant. But yeah, it's like a revolving, it's a, a, a sushi restaurant where they have these little plates in little domes that are on a conveyor belt that goes around the restaurant. And you basically just take whatever you want. Um, and then the people in the kitchen keep, like the, the conveyor belt goes through the kitchen. They just keep putting new stuff uh, out there. So if you see something you want, you get it. And it's kind of like tapas. If you guys are familiar with tapas maybe, but for sushi. You're just like little small plates of things. It costs a couple bucks each. And uh, you just take whatever you want. But the thing is, okay. So they have these collabs that they do with other like animes or video games or whatever. And it's a gotcha. There's a gotcha element to it. So if you eat a certain amount of plates, you get more toys. So of course, there's a Demon Slayer collab. And we needed, we needed, it was important. We needed the Demon Slayer gotcha toys. We needed it. We'll do a dupe tea on it. It's not bad. They may want to. They may want to feed it at some point, but yeah, needed. We needed the Demon Slayer toys. Absolutely necessary. The ten cent Demon Slayer toys that we spent way too much money on sushi. It was it was good sushi. Not gonna not gonna complain, but <laughs> for like a ten cent Demon Slayer toy. Uh, that's how life is. 
Oh, wait, what else are we talking about? I feel like we deviated. Yeah, Project Delta. That's that seems like a, it's been a thing before though. Okay. Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy, and hello, neighbor, which are completely unrelated, but also coming out at the same time. Bat boy is just a lot of 2D pixel art, whatever. Okay. But the demon, uh, not the demon slayer, Black Clover is the thing to pay attention to for mobile. For sure. More Shimite. See, I don't, I, I don't think the Shimite is really like a big thing in, in RTA. Like the, the like the free Shimite and like some of the other free uh, free four stars. It's like people, like anyone that's been playing the game for long enough has that unit built and also way better runes and doesn't need doesn't need that to be accessible to them. Like a free Shimite, <laughs> it's not it's not really gonna help anyone except for new players. So. It'd be funny if they gave uh, everyone those units, but with like way better runes. And people are like, oh, wow, I don't even need to summon or ruin anything myself. But that would that would kill all the, uh, the the RPG element of the game of people needing to farm. It's like, okay, well, they have. I wonder if they're going to rotate those. I think they may have already said that they're going to rotate them, and I forgot. But I'm curious if they're going to rotate those units. That may already have been a question that I even answered myself months ago. Um... Or maybe, I guess not months ago, but like one or two months ago, whenever they came out. But yeah. I think they might actually be rotating those. There's not a lot of good water stuff there, is there? For this free, free, freebies. Maybe you will. I'll, I'll, I'll peep their rank. <gasps> Let's see support yeah like this is not <laughs> these units are not helping anyone right yeah there are there are good water choices there's three good fire ones three good uh, wind ones I can't really imagine people using this this is so hard to use with the runes that they have on him you could use them to test them out but aside from that I feel like some of these other ones are just more useful like the ones that have like counter mechanics like this. He's got enough tankiness that he could actually he could actually work. That's that's one of the ones. What does he have? Might be a bit rough, but 90% crit rate. Yeah, this one actually would this one would work too. 90% crit rate. She's she's somewhat tanky enough to actually work. And with her uh, her passive giving her speed buff now. He's not fast enough. If they gave him like 50 more speed. Well, if they gave him 50 more speed, that would be a decent, uh, yeah. He does, he does get faster. So he's not actually at that speed, but let's continue summoning. We're supposed to be here for summoning. That's what we're supposed to be here for. Okay, Warner on a Musha. a hall of heroes though but i'll take it i mean i'll take it on their behalf not our account i'll take it what else we are on the tail end we're definitely getting some five Ooh, 25 legendary all tributes we will get some lds from there i'm like we will we will we will we will get some lds from there We already have that one. We already have. This is the one. There's so many other units. That's the one you want? You want this one? Oh, they're crazy. Crazy people. That's a, that's a solid one, though. They said RTA and... Well, let's do Bulwark. Let's do Bulwark. We'll, we'll, we'll do that later, though. We don't need to do that just now. Right? Right. Is the music dead? The music stopped? What are you doing, music? 
Oh, the music is just... Okay, it was the end of the song. For whatever reason, it just decided it was going to be non-existent. There's nothing going on. This is not the one that they were missing. They're still missing the fire one, I believe. They were missing that one at the beginning, but also, yeah. I should use the... Uh, I don't think I have the tea bunny, the light tea bunny. I have the cookie run version, but I want the bunny one. <sighs> I want the bunny. This is upsetting me now, guys. I, I, I need the bunny. I need to just do all of the LD scrolls until we get the uh, light tea bunny. Joking, I'm joking. That's a joke. Don't get excited. Oh, wonderful. Speaking of uh, exciting units. Wind Hat Boy, Wind Phantom Thief. Lovely. Very lovely. Okay, Wind Rune Blacksmith. Speaking of Rune Blacksmiths, speaking of blacksmiths, I have not logged into Genshin in so long. I, I suppose that a lot of people probably don't realize that I was even logging into Genshin, but yeah, I, I kept playing Genshin. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't know if that's new or dupe, but he's a solid unit. Rakan. Is Rakan dupe worthy? Though. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, well, obviously they don't care enough about their Rakan, so we're probably gonna feed it then. If that is if that is how you treat your Rakan. Yeah. Let's put all this in storage. There we go. He's like sitting there unloved, underappreciated. Eight more of these. Eight more legendaries. Oh god, I feel like we've been doing this for so Oh, we have been doing it for an hour. I'm like, man, I'm getting kind of tired. We've been doing this for an hour. Yeah. Well, also, I'm old, so I I, I could be on the toilet for an hour. I'd be like, oh, I'm exhausted. I need a nap now. Wake up from my nap. Oh, I need to take a dump now. <laughs> why do you watch this? Why do you, Why do you watch this? Why do you watch this? Oh. We're not talking about sleeping. We're talking about dumping. This, uh, this seems like it's a blessing. Oh, it's not a blessing. Okay. Let's see. Water Kung Fu Girl. Okay. So we have SWC 2021s. Okay, so he's picked the Wuse here. And also the Maya. Yeah, let's do these. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I am tired. I'm, I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. You guys are like, yeah, now you can fight me in RTA. I, I, I like this, uh, this version. Free wins. There would have been free wins anyway, because you know I would have picked some dumb thing. If I fought you in RTA, I would have picked some dumb thing. And you'd be like, okay, I'm pretty sure I know how to how to deal with the water mischievous bet. So I think this is going to be a win. And then crazy nonsense happens. All right, let's do the five cookie runs. Let's do the nine-year legendaries. Let's do the legendary all attributes. And then we will do the transcendence. All right. I haven't even played with those after the buff. The cookie cookie run buffs. The wind one. I don't think anyone even uses the wind one. I don't, I don't know anyone has been like, oh, yeah, the wind cookie is a, such a great unit. Speaking of which, yeah, this is the one. Immune to sleep. Actually, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Immune to sleep. 
Uh, maybe that is not such a terrible unit considering people are using Hathor again. Maybe that's not that bad. Which one? We will do this. I mean, it would be for scallops either way, but... Let's see. Twenty-five legendary all attributes. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's get it started. I'm um, I'm gonna predict two LDs out of these. Two LD fours. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm being a realist. Two LD fours. <sighs> new or new. I think most people would pick this, but there's still some people that would pick the, uh, that, that would rather have the Ariel. Depending on where your priorities lie. Uh, they would pick Ariel for Arena Defense, they would pick, uh, Chandra for Guild Siege or RTA. And also, they said that they were more focused on Guild Siege and RTA, so Chandra would be a better pick for them. But. You never know. And we, we ruined his life. Hey, we get a Lucian. I think that's the first, is that the first Lucian of the day? They should just do a Lucian Hall of Heroes. They should just do, they should just do a Lucian Hall of Heroes. I, I feel that they, I feel that they should. It's, it's not like the same thing as in the beginning of the game. Like when the game first came out, everyone's like, oh, Lucian, 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 you have to... You have to make sure you get Lucian from uh, from your scrolls, so. Ooh, very nice. So, LD4 number one, Light Blade Dancer. Like, I, re I really don't think that it would it would be too crazy to, uh, to do Lucian Hall of Heroes. I do not. Went Poison Master. And, and it would give them, hey, here's the second LD4, Light Bomber. Two really solid LDs. Very, very solid. We could definitely have used those more than we did. Man. The uh, the the light uh, bomber. We could use more than we did. I don't know why I'm skipping. These are these are kind of exciting scrolls because we might get some crazy LD toys. But uh, my brain's like, nah, skip it. Skip the lightning. Skip the lightning, you jerk. Like, oh, we probably shouldn't do that. Okay. Wind tower, uh, water towerist. Another Beretta. You know, some of these, some of these four stars that are fusions might be solid because they do have some of the things that, uh, they do have some of the five stars that they fuse into. Oh, or scallops. So. Let's see. At the very end. Very nice. Brand new Juno. They were missing that. Very, very good unit. They're almost ready for another one, too. <sighs> oh, well. <clears throat> Would we need a dupe Shung Pung? You know what? We could, we could see. We could see. We might do a... I feel we should also do a... Uh, Feed the fire art master. So let's uh, let's take a look at these art masters, and let's see. Jogun feed for ancient crystals. Most people, and then let's see. Shengpeng. Oh, keep. Okay. Because one of these is new. So, let's just make sure that they have a dupe. Because they, they said it, but, you know, I like to visually see it because I'm a dumb person. A 
Okay, so now we can actually get two of these. Very nice. And then I feel like this is I feel like this is uh this is gonna be both a dupe situation. Let's see it. You think this is gonna be new or dupe? Both new! Ooh. We're going to the poll. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it's gonna be? We have a wind. Nope. No, 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 no. Mage. Ooh. Not a lot of good votes on the wind mage. Did get a buff, but I think this is after. I, I think this poll is recent. But I know this poll is somewhat recent. So. And then we have the. Where is it? Here, uh, here it is. Yep, fire unicorn. Fire unicorn is the more voted on unit. Or I mean, the the, the higher. Uh, Higher ranked. <sighs> Ripperinos. Ripperinos. Okay. Well, we'll do. Uh, we'll do this one for a. Let's do the dupe usage poll. Let's see. Let's just, just double check. Ethna. Feed for ancient crystals. Oh, the dog is fussy. Hold on. Actually, let's let's just let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. The dog's like, I gotta make peepees. <laughs> Someone. Oh, they didn't even build their first one. Okay. Might be new. You never know. Right. It's like the Legend of Zelda music. All right, last two. We don't need a dupe of these. Uh... Yeah. We really don't need a dupe of these. But he's, you know, we'll, we'll keep it just in case. It's kind of almost mixed opinions, but we'll just do this last one. And if he wants, because he's almost ready for another Nat 5. So this, I believe, is also new. Very nice. I think uh, I think we came out with a, a win here. He had a lot of scrolls, though. But I think we came with a solid, uh, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One of these is an LD5. 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, is that it? And some LDs, some nice LDs. LD4s. The one LD5. Yeah, and some of these might be blessings later, but, you know, I'll let them do whatever they want to do. The Shung Pung could have been fed for a blessing. The Oliver could have been fed for a blessing. So, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some good summons. This was a long video. Hope you guys got some good summons. I will see you, as always, in the next one.